Welcome to Nomad Daily with Jay Crater. Content versus context. It's going to be hard to get this across in 60 seconds, but let's go. So content, let's say, for example, an example would be um, all of your thoughts. That's content. You step back from that and you look at all those thoughts, you observe all those thoughts, and you see them as, as thoughts, that's the context. So think of context as like a bowl that holds something. Another example would be like a, a fish swimming in a little fish bowl, right? But suddenly that's the content. But then you take that fish and you lift them out of the water and you say, now you see it differently, right? You see you're in this bowl, right? That's the shift in context. And where this is really powerful is in language. There's like talking, normal talk, like story talking, right? All of this talk. But you can shift the context to language being this powerful tool. So like the difference, the distinction between telling a story and making a commitment, right? Jack and Jill went up the hill, right? That's the story. But then what if instead you said, I commit, I promise that I'm going to get my business started by February 1st, right, in one month, let's say. Do you see the difference? Huge distinctions between content and context which can impact your life. For more information and bonus content, visit nomadj.com.